Thomas Markle was told about daughter Meghan's pregnancy before Monday's official royal announcement and believes she will make a great mum. The 74-year-old is estranged from the Duchess of Sussex, but is reportedly keen to play an active role in his grandchild's royal life. Kensington Palace confirmed on Monday that Harry and Meghan are expecting their first child in spring 2019. Mr. Markle, who recently admitted using cocaine in the past, is not thought to have been told the news directly by Meghan. He is not believed to have spoken to her since their wedding to Prince Harry in May. The Queen and Prince Philip, Prince Charles, Camilla, Prince William and Kate Middleton were among the royals told last week before Princess Eugenie's wedding. A source told The Sun, Thomas is absolutely delighted. He heard the news before it was made public and was overjoyed. He thinks Meghan will make a great mum as she is already so maternal. Thomas sees this as a chance to fix the problems between him, Meghan and Harry. He is desperate to be there for his grandchild and wants to play an active role in their life. Prince Harry admitted he was an emotional wreck in a good way after finding out his wife was pregnant, a source told the Daily Mail. The Duke of Sussex was so protective of her, the newspaper reported. The source added, it was something he wanted for a long time and he couldn't be happier. In yesterday's official palace announcement, it was revealed Meghan's mum Doria Ragland had also been informed of her daughter's pregnancy. In a statement, the palace said Ms Ragland was very happy at this lovely news and is looking forward to welcoming her first grandchild. Mr Markle recently said he was expecting Meghan and Harry to try for children soon. Speaking to ITV's Good Morning Britain, Mr Markle said, She's wanted children for a long time and when she met Harry and she spoke about how much she loves him, there's got to be a child in the making, somewhere soon. Meghan Markle's father Thomas has received violent death threats from a close female friend's ex-boyfriend who terrorized the female, forcing them to move to a safe house after the abuse escalated. Meghan Markle's father received death threats from the former boyfriend of one of his closest female friends. The suspect allegedly drove past Mr. Markle's house in Rosarito Beach, Mexico, and shouted, I'm going to kill you, you fat f asterisk asterisk. The suspect is reported to have also slashed Mr. Markle's ters. However, he denies the claims. Thomas Markle told the Mail on Sunday, the first time he threatened me was after I took opening bracket my friend and her daughter closing bracket for pizza and we were photographed by the paparazzi. He texted me saying, I will kick you, you fat f asterisk asterisk. I wrote back saying, you don't even know me, what's wrong with you? Why would you feel threatened by a 74 year old man? He thought something sexual was going on between opening bracket her closing bracket and me but it's not. Opening bracket she closing bracket isn't my girlfriend. She hasn't hustled me for money. I've helped her financially so that she could get to a safe place to live with her daughter. The threats come as Thomas Markle continues to adapt to life in the public eye following his daughter's marriage to Prince Harry. The ex-boyfriend has reportedly carried out a campaign of terror against Mr. Markle's friend and her daughter. The incidents have been reported to the police as part of an eight-page document. The report reads, he grabbed me by the neck while twisting it, as if he was choking me and I have pictures of these aggressions. He spat on my face. He goes to my uncle's house, referring to Thomas Markle and tells him that he is going to kill him because he is constantly hiding me and threatens and insults him. In an interview with the Mail on Sunday, the victim said, Tom has been nothing but a supportive friend. He's been a rock for me and my daughter and I'm sorry he's been dragged into this violent and abusive situation. My daughter calls Tom uncle. He's the most genuine and kind person I know and the most stable male figure my daughter has ever known my ex-boyfriend is demanded. He has threatened to kill me and my daughter multiple times and has made multiple threats to Tom's life.
Meghan Markle's family troubles are no secret but a post on her now-deleted blog has revealed a secret coping mechanism. Meghan has been royal for almost five months now but her feud with her father Thomas and her half-sister Samantha have regularly hit the headline. In her old lifestyle blog The Tig, which has since been deleted, the Duchess of Sussex explained how a stress coping technique had changed her life, and it is believed she might still practice it today. Meghan revealed how meditation had made her much happier, bringing her more success, more fulfillment, more happiness, less worry. The Duchess started the practice after a friend introduced her to Light Watkins, an LA-based meditation teacher, who gave her lessons on Vedic meditation to channel inner peace and calmness. Vedic meditation is one of the oldest meditating techniques, originating from North Indian almost 10,000 years ago. Speaking about the practice, Meghan described it as the type of meditation that Russell Simmons swears by, that people say changes their life and the trajectory of their future, more success, more fulfillment, more happiness, less worry. At first, Meghan was skeptical of meditation and found it difficult to allocate enough time in solitude, because of her busy schedule as a Hollywood actress. She wrote, I know you'll think of a million excuses as to why this is silly or why you don't have time for it, much like the day I told Light I didn't have enough hours in the day to do it, and he told me that's why I needed to mediate twice as much. Not gonna lie, I rolled my eyes thinking oh give me a break, mystic man. But lo and behold, this mystical man was right. I urge you to give it a shot. The worst thing that can happen is that you gave yourself 10 minutes of quiet in an endlessly loud world. However, Megan soon began to love meditating, describing it as the quietude that rocked my world. She added, I can't put my finger on the why or the how, but I will tell you this much, for me, I am just happier. And meditation has much to do with that. Megan's meditating coach, Mr. Watkins, previously told in style, I didn't get the sense that she was overly stressed out or anxious or anything like that, it just seemed like she was already on a wellness path. So I think she just saw meditation as just another tool that she could use because she has the resources and I guess the time to explore. I think it ended up being a lot more profound than she originally thought. It seems like she was in a relatively good space beforehand and in a better space afterward. Mr. Watkins revealed how he still emails Meghan with daily motivational tips, which the Duchess sometimes responds to. He added, Every morning I send it out at 6 a.m. and it's just like a minute read of just an inspiring anecdote or maybe a story, and she responds to those from time to time. So I know she's still getting something and I'm pretty sure she's still meditating. Meghan and Harry are set to embark on a 16-day Australia tour in October and will be visiting Fiji, Tonga, and New Zealand. Harry will be hosting the 2018 Invictus Games in Sydney, where ill and wounded veterans are set to compete in a series of sporting events. Meghan Markle may have told Princess Anne the exciting news that she is pregnant at Princess Eugenie's wedding in this touching moment. The Duchess of Sussex and Princess Anne sat next to each other in St. George's Chapel and they appeared to be having a warm and friendly chat before the ceremony started. However, now that Meghan, 37, and Prince Harry, 34, have announced they are expecting their first child it seems there is more to this conversation than just small talk. In one moment, Princess Anne looks down at Meghan's stomach as her coat was unbuttoned. Then in another moment the Queen's daughter makes gestures with her hands. Meghan copies the hand gestures as the pair giggle. It is unclear what they were talking about but it was speculated that the conversation was more telling after today's baby announcement. Charlie Proctor, the editor-in-chief of Royal Central, tweeted the video and said, I didn't want to say anything at the time because I know how annoying the rumor mill is, but Meghan's conversation with Princess Anne suddenly makes a lot more sense now. And looking at her stomach, the hand movements etc. Hashtag Royal Baby. One Twitter user responded speculating the hand gestures were referencing how big Zara Tindall was when she was pregnant. They said, no wonder the Princess Royal looked at Meghan so warmly, and I wonder if it was Zara or Peter that was that big. 
Another user said it makes sense now that Princess Anne was looking at Meghan's stomach. They added, that's also why her coat was open. Royal fans had wildly speculated that the Duchess's outfit on Friday was a major hint she was pregnant. She looked stunning in a Givenchy dress, finished with a hat by Noel Stewart and Pippa Small jewelry but also wore a loose-fitting and long navy coat. The covered-up look is in complete contrast from sleek dresses she has been pictured wearing at a number of events recently. Royal fans flocked to Twitter and speculated that Meghan might be expecting her first child with Harry. One tweeted, something about Meghan's outfit choice makes me think she's pregnant and hiding a baby bump. It's so conservative. Another wrote, I have a feeling Meghan is pregnant. She's glowing and her face looks fuller to me. Can't wait for them to announce it. One tweet read, Meghan Markle is definitely pregnant. My psychic intuition does not lie and that long coat is rather suspicious. Kensington Palace had remained tight-lipped on growing speculation that Meghan is pregnant until now. <laughs>